Good morning everyone and welcome to the world of Kaiserreich. I'm Elerion and I'm going to be your guide in this wonderful Hearts of Iron 4 mod. Now, Kaiserreich is a very different alternative history mod, as alternative history tends to, to skew towards evangelism and uh, empire slash fascist building. And Kaiserreich uh, tries to take a different route, and some would say it's a more left-leaning mod. Uh, it's based on uh, historical events and uh, historical uh, figures in uh, our timeline. Now, let's review this timeline for, for a general perspective before we start playing the game. First of all, the basic premise of the, w of the mod is that uh, Germany won the First World War. As, or as it's known to, uh, to in this timeline, the first Will Creek. This led to a German uh, uh, soul superpower, should say, for the mid-war years, and it has some very, very interesting ramifications for the timeline. First, the idea is that after Germany uh, managed to defeat France because uh, it uh, did not get into war with the United States, France fell into a, a new Paris Commune that it led to the creation of the Commune of France. Uh, the Commune of France, it isn't, it, uh, it the mod generally replaces the communist ideology with a more uh, union-based uh, system of government, what's called in the mod syndicalism, which is a catch-all term for uh, union and workers council um, management of the country and the economy it's a uh, it doesn't really define itself as a political ideology but it exists somewhere between a more libertarian uh, version of communism and uh, a more anarchic style of uh, management IA Spain now the idea is that uh, the commune of France uh, achieved to create a democratic system of workers' council control of the economy and the political uh, machine. Following the, uh, in the same time, the death of Lenin in, the, in his assassination attempt and the intervention of Germany in Russia led to the defeat of uh, the Red Army and the creation of the Russian Republic uh, under uh, Alexander Kerensky, and that's the uh, years leading after the war. Next, what what happened is Britain, destroyed by the debt created by from ah, well, so Britain was never invaded actually. Britain signed a peace with honor, as it says, after a couple of years fighting alone against Germany, as Germany could not invade the main island. And it was, and it could not uh, intervene in the colonies. But this piece of with honor led to a great economic stagnation and popular disenfranchisement that helped the trade unions rose into power through a somewhat historically skewed evolution that couldn't really happen. It's a very interesting and funny uh, history reversal. As uh, it is, uh, it the uh, mod law says that after a minor strike that turned violent, but from the police and was shot by the police, a uh, general strike was called, and pretty much the king was ousted in a very quick and bloodless, not bloodless, but a very quick evolution in uh, I think 2096 or so. Now the main. Uh, meat of the mod and the history around it is we are heading towards a second world war, second world war between right now the german empire wh which is uh, actually has all of the almost all of eastern europe as um it's a uh, puppet slash uh, client state and has a massive um, colonial empire as it uh, picked up the pieces from the failing uh british and, and uh, french empires now, there are some main events that you should know that are going to happen through this mod. Uh, so you have something to look forward to. 
first are this mod is filled with civil wars with the more two most important ones probably being uh, United States Civil War as uh, the the timeline says that the United States f falls into economic depression after the British Revolution S and so uh, there is a rise of uh, right wing and left wing extremism uh, left -wing extremism, right wing extremism and uh, le and left wing parties that are going to lead into a new civil war after the elections about in 1937 at the same time, uh, there's there either, there's probably going to be a civil war in Russia that's not guaranteed, and in Spain. Now there are three there are three ma three main factions in the European part of this game. It is the inter the international, which is consists of the Union of Britain, the Commune of France, and the part of Italy, the Social Republic of Italy. There is the Reichspakt, which is uh, Pretty much Germany and its puppet, and there is the Entente. If you can see, there is uh, a blue color here, the French Republic, into the old colonial borders of France. The idea is that the ruling class of uh, France fled to the colony to Algeria and set up a revanchist regime that its main point is to recapture the mainland which now exists in a sort of um, a tender peace with the Commune of France. At the same time, the crown of uh, Britain, of the United Kingdom, fled to Canada, continuing to exist and trying <coughs> uh, with, through George V, and which is going to die very soon, <coughs> trying to recapture the home miles. So this is this... Um, the main uh, driving force of this mod is there's gonna be a great crisis, economic crisis in German stock markets. Sort of trying to copy uh, the Great Recession, the Great Depression that actually also happened. But anyway, there's gonna be a great crisis in the German Empire that's gonna shook the world. This is gonna give uh, the syndicalist nations of the world uh, the. Um, sort of um, the opportunity to try to uh, to expand the revolution around the world and it's going to lead in a second world war a, a second world war pretty much between germany and f and the international and maybe Austria and its puppet will intervene it's a very open ended mode so we're going to see as we play but and uh, at the same time uh, through the when the Second World War starts, the First Republic and, and the Canadians, pretty much the, the remnants of the old empires of the past, are going to try and intervene and, and pretty much try to regain their old territories. Now, there are many, many interesting places to start in this mod, but mm, for, in my opinion, the best place and the, the best, one of the best places to start in order to be to be able to observe how the timeline tends to <coughs> to progress it uh, it's outside Europe as you're not the main so you're not in the drive seat but you're in a passenger seat of the revolution now what best place what is a what's the best place to start from one of the most famous revolutions slash wars of our timeline well, we're gonna start in the German East Asia, or uh, it is the, the colonial puppet of Germany in in the Indo-Chinese uh, region. And we're not gonna play as the German East Asia, actually. We are going to play as a small insurgent force that is going to, to try to win Vietnam, Laos, and generally in the in the China, so we're going to recreate the the Vietnam War in 1936, which is going to be fun. S I think it's going to give us the opportunity to observe the world uh, from an outside perspective, and also it's really close to China, which is a new update, which is fairly interesting, but it's not the historical region 
which I have the most knowledge around, so right now I'm not really feeling very comfortable doing a playthrough. Anyway, standard settings, standard game rules, I don't think we need to... F ah, also, before I start, there is a semi-broken India between the co the syndicalist, the the monarchies, the Khan, the, mo the, Khan, the Dominion of India, Monarchist and the Paris Federation, we are going to explore that. Alright, uh, so we're gonna start as the German East Asia. Now, um, let's get in the game actually. <coughs> uh, no, uh, I didn't want to make an Iron Man game. Uh, give me a second. Alright, back, and here we go. Now, welcome Kazakh, thank you Kazakh team, alright Kazakh but uh, blah, blah, we're not really, well, sure you will, alright. So let's start, we're playing as for now as German East Asia. Now German East Asia is pretty much a, a colony of uh, Germany, uh, not a really independent country, it, uh, it's, uh, it's ruled by the navy, it's pretty much the equivalent of a navy with a state uh, so we are going to be doing some focuses to ensure the um, <coughs> the, in the Indo-Chinese revolution starts so we're gonna start with the status of the Almilty with the annexation of French colonies and the incorporation of British territories German East Asia is a colonial authority unique in the control in its control by Grand Almiran Helmut von Moko. I don't really know German, so you will excuse me. We must review the status of our continuous mission to protect the colonies from outside aggression and how to best this can be how best this can be achieved. I'm gonna start this. We're not gonna really pay much attention to the actual German stage. I'm gonna go for the standard opening for construction. Oh, we start with electronic engineering, nice. Well, let's go for mechanic and computing. And we're gonna build. Um, we have quite a few. So, we're gonna be building in the areas, uh, military factories in the areas we know we're gonna to control. So, in in the coaching thing. In Saigon, anyway. It's not really comfortable with the pronunciations. Alright. Let's just set up a general. We're not going to be playing as this country, so we don't really care. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make take the army and pretty much just plug it here. I'm not really interesting in interested in uh, playing as this country, so we're just gonna throw in, and uh, the AI is gonna fix it itself anyway. So we're gonna start the time, and we're gonna see as events play out. All right. Yeah, this is uh, the China's update general information. If you want, you can uh, read it. Oh, sorry, that's actually our uh, Garden China uh, Station. All right. Anyway, we don't really care about China right now, so we're gonna skip this. If it's a uh, more important event about Indochina, I'm going to read them. Yeah, this is the Chinese part, the AOG, which is actually how we, inv how the Germans are uh, economically colonizing China, and there's gonna be a pretty much an uprising around the colonization. Uh, oh, so we have quite a bit. All right, build some of this, some infrastructure. All right, starts of the Admiralty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, someone say, why are you, why would the Germans leave, oh, alright, okay, we have events, I'm going to, alright, so the assassination of President Kerensky, this is the start of Russia, of the power struggle in Russia, Kerensky is assassinated, and someone's going to take his place, Hauberberg, oh, oh, Wrangler, oh, 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 oh yes, authoritarian Democrat, what the best. Yeah, this is uh, the observant rights in the legacy cities. So, pretty much the concessions in China are united 
around the actually they are, they are united by the protection of uh, the superpowers of the world the capitalist superpowers of the world and uh, <coughs> as the situation in China unfold um, they are going to be playing uh, the part of pretty much the economic trading areas and uh, so we have a uh, as the German puppet we can see what how, how the vote is going on the legation council the ruling part of the legation cities but we are not actually going to be able to vote on it. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Um, well, ah, yeah, what I was saying. Um, General DA would not leave the mainland of Indochina um, unguarded, but hey, we can skew it a bit into our direction. The, the AOG's influence in China goes. All right, I missed the decision of, of mixed news. It appears. Our uh, partners in the AOG have managed to come across a stroke of good fortune. The completion and the purchase of the Zaygan Railway, a large-scale rail project inside the League of Eight Provinces, the green, the green blob up here, has allowed the AOG to spread influence deep into Chinese territory. Well, some, res some responses to the AOG action have been less than pleasant, we can safely assume this sign of a good thing to come. Good to hear. No, it's not. You don't want to be economically colonizing China. That doesn't never. This this doesn't end well. It tends not to end well. Yeah, uh, we're missing equipment. I don't care. That's not our point. Uh, oh, so this is also set into the new update to the La Resistance. Ah, oh, that's the Totalist chapter. All right, that's a big uh, conversation. It, uh, the left-leaning ideologies have uh, pretty much three branches. Let me go to the Commune of France. So we have the syndicalists, which tend to be what uh, the union-based, uh, uh, industrial union-based uh, control of the economy, and pretty much some of them are Marxist. Most of them are Marxist, but it's a more general ideology. You have not anarchist but the radical socialist, which pretty much are um, it's a catch-all term for uh, very very left-leaning uh, social democrats, anarchists, and um, it's a very catch-all term. In the, for example, in the United States, it is the union. Um, uh, socialist um, market socialist in uh, France they are anarchist and Britain they are autonomist it's a catch-all term and the most catch-all term it's the totalist which include <coughs> Marx Marx Leninists uh, revanchist uh, ethno socialists someone would say real world fascists which supposedly did not become so fascists in this world but most because most of them were in the beginning some of them were in the beginning socialist state socialists so a uh, party control of the economy a state control of the economy from the direct or and the party control of the state but um, with not some of them have uh, nationalist leanings we're gonna see as we play. So here we have the totalist chamber. Mussolini, Valois, Oltmer and other Indian parties arrived to Birmingham today to discuss the common ground. It has been agreed that Maximist, the totalist in the uh, Union of uh, Britain, Sorelians, the totalist in France, the half of the totalists in France, because they also against Jacobins. <coughs> and national syndicalism in uh, the Italian Republic, which is led by Mussolini, yay! Mm, horse theory. <laughs> All uh, share basic principle of, of state primacy in the socialist struggle, the role of national identity within the state, and the importance of strong central authority to pressure and beat socialism. The charters also claim the socialist state is the final stage of human 
development of democracy is not necessary to achieve socialism. Yeah, yeah I'm have, I have Luxembourg to talk to you. Uh, there isn't a socialist without democracy, my friends. <laughs> it's workers' democracy, not capitalist democracy, but I'm going to disagree with you. Anyway, uh, this is the way, it's pretty much the uh, conference of the totalist. People must reject this madness. All right, let's see. So, yeah. Oh, the second event uh, that always happened in this world. The Edward the Eighth crowned as the King of Great Britain. Right. The uh, George V died, and we have Edward the Eighth here, and pretty much the leader of the entente. This is the um, the factions. Anyway, we are currently part of the Right Pack, but not for long. It's sort of a bit of a dead uh, in the start of the game. It's a bit of a dead uh, area. Because we are, I'm not actually playing the country we want to play, but patience is important, so we're waiting. Uh, Alright, start of the ML team. We can't go for physical SLT because Black Monday, the economic crash, hasn't happened yet. Uh, I think I'm not going to do a focus. Actually, I'm going to start this, the Grand Fleet, but it's going to cancel because Black Monday is going to happen very soon. I don't actually remember the date. I think it's in February. What's going on in France? Ooh. Totalism is growing. <laughs> Let's hope it's the Max Lenin's kind. <laughs> oh yes, this is also the war between the Fifth Lango of Ghani War. Alright, Black Monday! The situation in Germany is dire. After the devastating financial crisis, the German economy is in Tartars, the, the colonies are sure to f and the colonies are sure to follow. We must cut back on much of our spending and immediately look for a way to batrush East Asian already weakening economy. Recovery could take many years. Black Monday, which is devastating, disastrous, and this is gonna cancel because. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Ouch, then we're gonna have an interesting world. Communal farm is in a world leading single East nation. It is a federation of city communes directed by Committee de Soule Public. The chief executive, since the inception, the second commune has not been uniform in its policies. Numerous factions within their own dis distinct direction for France have vied for power. With the revenge re against Germany, world evolution approaching the election. 936 has said to very be very important. All right, so we have the Sorelians. The Sorelians are orthodox syndicalists and advocate centralization with the bourgeois de travail, the parliament's the chief institution. So we have the Sorelians, which are we're gonna let them change their leader. Give it a moment. Black Monday hits. The AOG, our Chinese partners, have we withered the Black Monday crash no better than uh, us, it has seemed. With German business already facing pressures from the local elements being hit particularly hard. The Dutch Asian Bank, once thought too big to fail, is teetering on the edge of collapse, and the trickle back effects of this financial institute stability are already being failed around only financial sector. You do, huh? Now, a bank too, book too, too, too good to fail, now that is a 2008 reference, <laughs> or a 2020, we're going to find out. <laughs> Have they changed their leaders? I, I'm going to be honest, sorry, it's not my favorite uh, choice in the communal French, but hey. Ah, yes. Um... Yeah, the, the, the China is going to explode once again. The Queen Empire. The end of Black Week. It sounds like a sales uh, week. A week has passed since the initial Berlin stock uh, market crash. Rubber and uh, tin, our main export communities, have already lost more than half of their pre Black Monday values due to the collapse of the tired demand from the 
autonomous industry. Meanwhile, rice exports to European markets have grown to a whole, leaving tens of thousands of stone rotting in the fields and on the docks. Europeans in Singapore, Sion Group, another city with few saving all and no land ownership, gambled and lost everything in the market. Now, find them a little better off than in the Chinese than the in the Chinese level. Oh, something must be done. We lose stability and we gain the colonial turmoil now. I think it's time for physical austerity, the best answer to a crisis. Yay! The, uh, with the global financial crisis emanating from Be Berlin, we must cut back on our spending and increase our revenue immediately to suffer enormous budget uh, deficits. Yeah, we're not gonna collaborate with the local elites. Uh, yes, yeah, Australians are back. Now, there are national syndicalists, or they're not really. They are more anti German syndicalists, the best uh, way to describe them. You know, they're a bit too extreme. Uh, they, I, as an empire, will withdraw from Italy from here. Anyway, there are a lot of things to talk about in Kaiser, as a money event, so. If you think that uh, reading every event is a bit of a tedious, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, give me... Oh. Failing prices. Well, the prices of rice and amber are rapidly falling across the colonies. The farmers and plantation owners relying on the rice and rubber export have been hit hard, especially our two major colonies of Indochina and Malaya. It's possible to control the prices in one colony, but our resources are limited and it's almost certain to come the cost for the other. So we could control the prices in the China which is going to postpone the, revol the revolt. Protect Malaya and look oh this is also gonna be a political power here which is not oh this is not our business. This isn't our business. This is this is uh, the work of the free market too. Um to regulate it. This is not a business. Uh, give me a second. Alright, back. Uh, Alright, so well, let's continue. Physical austerity. <laughs> Colonial government. Yeah, we cannot free ourselves. Uh, really? Is this... Is this war is still going on? This is very quick war normally. Come on, Tony of India. The illusion of Queen Ceremony Sutters. There is no longer a queen empire because it's time for revolt. <laughs> yes, China. This isn't a good. Uh, yeah, they look very pompous. This is can declare war. They left coming. Down. Our friends or our future friends have arrived. The KMT meaning the left-leaning faction. The KMT is the left-leaning faction in this world. <laughs> well, part of it. Support our, our Chinese friends. We better think to do be doing. We're not gonna support the League of Eight promises. What? Are we some kind of colonial authority? Yeah, that's all out war. Right here and now. Masu. Okay, Queen has backed the Ankyukilik. Interesting. What happened in. Uh, Britain. It doesn't. It hasn't finished with the Congress of the Trade Unions yet. In the uh, German business flee the league uh, of the collapse of League of Nations. Yeah, they're leaving. Ah, th this is our cue. Instability in Indochina since our expeditionary army. Destroyed Ho Chi Minh's and his syndicalist agitators in Guangzhou ten years ago. Indochina has enjoyed a relative stable period, but recently, Berlin, the the recent Berlin stock uh, market crash or Black Monday has a devastating impact on highly commercialized on the Chinese economy. Sikes and rice riots are spreading in Tonkin, Annam, and uh, this. Place. Urban students and intellectuals ask for more freedom. What was our intelligence suggests some underground evolutions are secretly spreading their influence. This 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 colony is notorious for insubordination. Well, Ho Chi Minh is probably dead. So sorry, we're not gonna have him here. But his legacy seems to be surviving. 
Are you going to win this war? It's like you always you are going to win this war, but this is sad. Also, it seems a European of privileges. With the uh, shock of uh, black money, many European settlers have lost everything and can improve it overnight. Now some have petitioned us to strengthen their social and commercial privileges. As uh, settlers, they will not be reduced to living like mere colonial subjects. They argue that the strict racial care system is the only way to consume the peace in a colony. Of course, we have forced the uh, European privileges. What are we... We are a colony here. If someone's going to pay is the Chinese. And that is intentionally racism <laughs> towards the Vietnamese, the Cambodians, the Laos people. Sorry. <laughs> Gwen, right, something in Ecuador. Oh, restoration of democracy in uh, Australia. They're going to have elections. Oh yeah, they didn't have elections in Australia. Also, they have New Zealand. Yeah, this is a full <laughs> this mod is full of different things physical austerity colonial mark austerity budget yes the pope is dead how terrible come on let's arrive to the start of the what <laughs> Kim Tim an Indian socialist overthrow Tibet Social Democrats in Tibet. <laughs> no, that's it's funny. I don't think the country is with you right now, sir. You have 15% of the country. Anti concessionist attacks in German assets. With the former League of Eight Bombers is complete flammers. German prison China is rapidly deserted. The AOG and uh, Nanking Commission struggle to make sense of out the chaos as they are forced to retreat to their headquarters. To make things worse, we see reports in Guangzhou that. Rioters attack German quarters, have them damaging assets assaulting a German citizen. In response, the, the Almaty is preparing a retaliation by sending Scudum destroyers to attack a man that the German Empire will not tolerate such blatant violation of international treaties. Of course, there is no uh, uh, real tactical uh, or tactical uh, strategic or tactical vultures attack on the defenseless city. But it will send a message and show that Chinese people and the rest of the world will not forget that Germany is a world power. Of course, we are going to launch a retaliatory strike to civilians. What are we? We are a colonial government. <laughs> Come on, Britain. What is your elections? Are you still having elections? Really? The first announcement in the Congress. Delegates from all from socialist nations and political movements around the world gathered to Paris today for the latest in a series of world uh, congress of the series of world congresses. While the mantle of the international has taken by, by the uh, co communists after the Russian civil war, they, uh, the ideological tenors of the event promise to be very different, with syndicalist parties being newly dominant force of the far left. Delegates were greeted by milita a military parade, extinguished by the avant grand art and finesse, finally a speech by the chairman of the CSP. As though the agenda spread the is spreading the revolution in a to Asia, North America, um, and uh, the ongoing conflict in Spain, policy on colonialism and requirements for members of the international military alliance. Interesting development. Yeah. Ah, yeah. We have uncovered a series of nationalism and anti-colonialism movement in the Tonk in Tonkin. This is Tonkin. Uh, Tonkin. It's not the map. Uh, in a very ca in every corner of Hanoi, agitators are the same. Dissem disseminating pamphlets calling for the national unity and independence. The ringleader behind the agitation is a group of called the Vietnamese Nationalist Party and our agents have dis discovered an insidious plan. Thin bandits are infiltrating our garrison in Tonkin. We must prepare. Mm. 
soon return from Moon after you get a bit gun boat diplomacy. All right, we get some political power. We bomb some civilians. You know, the general, the colonial stuff. Hmm. All right. So now we wait. Uh, the left KMD is not really good doing weight, but it might they might be saved by the success of uh, Anjing then because the League of Eight promise is pretty close to capitulation. I think we have a new pope. We oui, we are Chinese. We don't have a new pope. No, we have Indo Indo Chinese. I'm sorry, <laughs> the role playing got into me. Yeah, yeah. You still are doing the bloody, the bloody council. Are you going to follow your totalist friends around in France? I'm gonna find out. This war is finally over. Jeez. Bada bum, bada bum. Uh, yeah. Plantation sites. Sharp. Yeah, so we're gonna suppress the strike in the China. <coughs> the Ziggler has capitulated. Now that's that's not a strong coming tongue. I'm sorry. The Yeah, the OG remnants with the complete dedication of Nanjing click the cut of German infinite China page have come to an end. We are doing our best to observe absorb the dis displaced AOG administration and remaining con concessions. But the reality is lost of origin so it's hard to come grip with. At least we still have it. <laughs> Where is uh, this name? I so we have some troops returning. And <coughs> so this the queen has joined the anti consensualist movement pretty much. Huh? Uh yeah, they have taken anti consensualist uh stance. And we have the war in the north between the two between Anjing and the Sangha uh, this place. Arthur Horner, elected chairman of the DGC. Uh huh, interesting. His first. Interesting. We have syndicalists. Good. They have survived the totalist taking over France, which is good. What economic policy are they got? They went for Soviet economic policy. Interesting. But if this is good, are we going to have a revolution yet? It's been so long. I don't remember how long it was taken in last time I played, as in the China. Mexico is totalist still. Great. No, no, no. <laughs> and what happened in Nicaragua? Social liberal. Yeah. Anyway, uh, there is a lot of happening around the world. Social Democrats in Australia. Betraying the revolution as usual. Colonial mark. We're gonna play until the uprising in uh, Indochina starts. Gonna continue from there. Russia, it's pretty stable. France is very stable, as is uh, the Union of Britain. Germany is unstable. They still have the great debate. Have they chosen direction yet? No. There are a lot of uh, countries that can go syndicalist or totalist in this world, so it's quite interesting to look around. Republican United Front. Mm, interesting. The colonial mark. Right, so Sarah Burden. Local European settlers have long benefited from our protection. They have paid very little tax in exchange for border, for all the for the order they enjoy. But since we are rely on their cooperation to earn the colonies, and cannot go too far. It would be better to forge an agreement with them. 
So we're gonna share our burdens in this economic crisis. <coughs> Ooh, double teaming, great. Intel. Yeah, we don't have know how much. Uh, man available on one power. I can actually, s I don't actually know this system. I haven't played with it. Uh, let's get some weapons. Actually, no. Radio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite sure that uh, the left coming tank is gonna win. I mean, the two front war helps, but I think and Jing is gonna come out uh, as the victor here, but I might be wrong. Yeah, I'm not gonna change anything with the political power we have. No, not until we have come up. Well, my, actually, I'm gonna let the AI make those decisions. It's their game after uh, the, rev the revolt starts. What's going on in the legation cities? Nothing in this. They in, sa in some Tangyun garrison in the Yan Bay, a military post near the Sino Indonesian border organizing a mutiny against the colonial officials. I'm influence of the VNQDD. Thanks to our agents, we have sabotaged the plant land coordinate uprising. We have fended off rebels and began large scale character in Tongking. Alright, I think, actually, um, I think. Let me make a save here, but I think if we have to go with the top one. We have consolidated our force and crushed this bandit. Let's see. Dun dun. The hand click. Oh, they added a focus to for Hanan. They didn't have in the previous update. Russia is not gonna have a civil war, I think. And I think we're gonna go mainland pacification, Malaya pacification. Mm. Yes. Who detained Shayam? You know, the next elite and chief until the majority. Yay! Mussolini is here. Very popular, as you can see. <laughs> Argentina is going doing his thing. Everyone is doing his thing. Uh, when is you? Ah, you're going down the. Wait. They stuck to the civil war and I'm confused. Uh, you're going down. Oh, this. Why it's another China? I think it's about the this event. Now we can do the weapons. All right. With our forces occupying, suppressing the national list in uh, Tanking, the situation in southern this place is growing increasingly unstable. Strikes have decreased, but trade union activists are reported to be holding frequent meetings, and rumors are spreading that uh, that agitators, disguised as monks and merchants, are organizing peasants into secret society in this place, in southern Annam. Additional intelligence suggests many Vietnamese exiles are legally crossing the border and are illegally and entering Indochina. They are likely to be sent by foreign powers to engage in uh, subservient activities. Our officials have invented a new term, the Viet Cong, in, f in full Vietnam Cong Dong, Vietnamese syndicalist, to designate the red threats. I sense the calm before the storm. Yes. This is the calm before the storm. <laughs> Come on. 
Plants, the uprising. <laughs> it's almost 1937. It's July. We've been playing for six months. <laughs> What's going on in the world? We have syndicalism in Union of Britain, socialism in the Commune of France, socialism in Socialist Republic of Italy. Totalism in Mexico. I think the Totalism in Mexico cannot actually join the Third International, which is even better. South America is going strong with syndicalism. Social Democrats in Australasia. These guys don't really play a part. They're not really easy to categorize. Ah. Uh, Ah, we have syndicalists in Finland. <laughs> Norway, market liberals. Ah, they haven't yet uh, anything. All right, the Republic of Iran. It's social democrat. Another coup for Siam because what we need more coups on Siam. Si uh, si literally. Poland elects a new king. What king? We have a paternal autocrat. No, we actually have a true Polish king. Isn't he the true Polish king? I think it's... No, it's a Saxon king, so they're gonna be close with Germany. Which is bad for us. Zeybek at Pulo Condor. This morning our central prison of Pulo Condor is island deported the mass jailbreak. This was clearly a well-organized action. The prisoners escaped through tunnels under the cover of night, then embarked on pre-prepared junks and disappeared into the canal network and, ma and marches of the Mekong Delta. It estimated that 150 of the total 225,000 prisoners escaped, more left laden agitators. This colony has been nothing but trouble. It has. You are in Indochina. <laughs> and you... I mean, you're not the Americans, but... You're not really gonna have a better time here. Come on! Bing Ding Commune Movement. Bing Ding Province, the home of Tyson Rebellion, is witnessed with a max relation in the present movement. Demonstrators initially demanded an end to the curvy labor, an equivalent of serfdom, but when they were ignored by the local administration, angry peasants began to burn down the administrative buildings, town halls, and rail stations, destroy tax registers, and pillage police stations. The local administration has been paralyzed, and associations called communes have been formed, and the movement has begun to spread to other provinces in uh, South. Annam and Mekong. Clear the very corner behind all this movement. Perhaps we can deal with this peacefully. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not really role playing and doing the best decision, I think, for us. <laughs> mm, MacArthur's plan. Oh, freak. This is gonna be a difficult game. Oh. No, we're here. Yesterday. Consent in consent in uh, surgency simulation is broke. Not concerned. Concentrated in surgency simulation broke out from Tanking to this place. Trade unions went into general strike and tried occupying municipal government buildings. Why most place of place order has been restored? The Ming, the Viet Minh brought the peasant rebellion from Ding Ding and Mekong to Saigon and entered the city. Local guards on the and rebels seized control of the key communication and administration facilities in Saigon. So we have a rebellion. Viva la revolution! Switch to the Indochinese Union. All right, so we are going to set up our game and we're gonna be anything for today all right first of all we don't really have a choice the revolutionary provision revolutionary provisional government uh, for, before we do that actually let's see our debuffs we are radical socialists which is the general anti-colonial uh, ideology in the colonies 
We have a great addition, which um, makes us not good, very good at defense in court early, not good at attack. Viet Minh, political power drain, but uh, we have more side the limit. Poorly organized army. Not good at attack at all planning. Apathetic people. We don't actually have the support of most people because it's a re rebellion. We don't have it yet. End it. So the first thing we have to do is rev establish a revolution of the government. The Viet Minh or League of Independence of Vietnam is a broad coalition of groups which seek to immediate the immediate independence of Vietnam. The Viet Minh, despite its being polit this deep political division, has managed to establish a provisional in the Indo-Chinese government. As yet, however, the status of this government is largely informal and needs to and in need of reform. So let's reform it. Uh, decisions. Yeah. Go elect. Oh, this is a new mechanic. The, the resistance. Anyway, let's set up the rest of it. Uh, we want guns. Do we have any of this? No, we actually don't start with anything. We want guns and um, yeah, this, this two. Let's. No, actually, we don't really want guns. We're not gonna be producing any guns. This is stupid. Uh. So get this and I um, think electronics so I can actually go for the radio. We have one dockyard, build convoys to trade. Built here. Alright. Give me my army. Now, very important. First of all, do we don't have a field marshal. Really? Uh, we had when we started. Alright, let's read the setup. German Empire is probably the strongest military power ever, ever existed, but we will triumph. The resistance against German imperialism calls for the great, uh, greatest courage and sacrifice, but to survive and win, courage and sacrifice are not enough. David couldn't fight Goliath without a sword. He had to learn how to use the weapon of, of the weak. So we we have the current second of guerrilla activities in China is 42. So we can lose war support and gain um, some uh, guerrilla activities. We could spend five political power and gain. So we can gain some um, division, tr some uh, support our troops. So we can gain. Uh, Oh, some are, so for 98 days we lose uh, the organization. Or we could gain attack on Concord territory and they're gonna have more attrition supply consumption. Those are interesting things. We're not gonna use them right now because we actually, right now we don't have an adversary. Uh, do we have any? Uh, we have some guns, but we're not actually fully equipped. Let me see. Um, yeah, we're missing 2,000 guns, so we actually have like a thousand. And we don't actually have a field marshal. Um, um, well, let's pick up a leader. Alright. Uh, Career officer. Inflexible child is. Yeah, um, okay. This is more planning thing, really interesting. This is supply consumption, which is pretty good for us. I think I'm gonna choose this guy. Inflexible status. Infantry leader. Uh, this is an infantry officer, which can become an infantry leader in the future. A good distribution of child efforts, a commando. So, yeah. And we don't start with anyone, so. We have uh, some templates. Uh, Alright, let's. Fix that. All right, you. Let's see. The very weak one is going to be the unicorn. Isn't this the very weak one? This is the very weak one, right? Yeah. The next one is gonna be that, and this is gonna be the defense one. All right. And these are, yeah. Uh, let's uh, the rifle here. Great. So. The strong ones are going to 
give me two of them you are going to defend the port it's very important we don't they're gonna try to do that <coughs> all right the rest of you you for now are coming with me we generally don't have very strong ones so what I'm going to do right now I'm gonna make a front line here I'm gonna make an attack order up there we are going to manually do that probably what we want is you're gonna move you all are going to be moving in here you're gonna be moving up this all right you are going to try and go from here you're gonna go here and you're gonna go to capture this the, the clue is we want a clue you are going to rush up here we want to cut them off at this uh, juncture if we manage to do that if we manage to cut them off here before they have been able to redeploy troops from malaya we're gonna have a good time anyway i'm gonna save here and we're going to see you next episode have a nice time